Hello and welcome to this YouTube exclusive edition of the Under Center podcast. I'm your host Darren Marr and I'm joined by my trusty colleague Jake Woolhead. Uh, Fiona's still missing uh, for a little bit longer, but we hope to have him back hopefully by the next uh, edition of the show. This uh, YouTube exclusive is a beat the bookie sort of style show and we're going to give you some bets that we believe coming into week two of the regular season is going to help you win a bit of money because at the end of the day that's all we want to do isn't it just win a bit of money jake yeah i do uh really enjoy winning money i don't enjoy losing money so if there's any reason to trust me it is so i win money (laughs) that's exactly it that's why i trust you jake because you can win me money uh but we also should say as well before we get into this Make sure if you are gambling uh, on any sort of sport or anything, make sure you're gambling responsibly. Don't be selling the house. Don't be selling the kids. Don't be selling the cars just to do all the <laughs> to uh, to try and uh, win this bet because we don't like that responsibility on us. We're just doing this for a little fun. Remember, it's all about just having a bit of fun. Um, and when it gets when it stops being fun, stop. Isn't I think that's one of the taglines that one of the anti um gambling uh adverts you could say isn't that that's what they say you're absolutely right if you're not if you if you're not having fun anymore there's just no point in doing it exactly exactly and if you need to just gamble to 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 be able to watch a game you may have to stop the gambling because the games can't be that bad unless you're watching a a giants game sorry jake i had to get one dig in there at least (laughs) (laughs) But look, this is only going to be a quick video um, because we're obviously a man down this week for this one. So um, I'm going to start with myself, uh, Jake. Actually, I'm going to sort of give you a sort of treble bet that I like um, this week. Because at the time of recording, um, the sites that we are using have not given touchdown scoring scorer bets. So we have to sort of make do of what we can to get the odds that we'd like. And it's a triple um, handicap sort of bet uh, i have the arizona cardinals and uh, they are i'm gonna put them at minus three and a half points um and they are going up against i should have really done this beforehand i really apologize for this uh they are going up against uh the minnesota vikings uh, uh, in Arizona, so they uh, I'm gonna go with them at minus three and a half points. I think they'd be able to cover that against a Vikings team that I am not high on at all this year, and I think could struggle. It could be the last year we see Mike Zimmer and, and Kirk Cousins in, in Minnesota. The second team of this treble is the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, I'm gonna have two NFC West sides in this, the 49ers are uh, taking on the um, the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia. I know the Eagles had a very good win against the Falcons last week, but I think this 49ers team, um, I know they have some injuries. Raheem Mostert is out for, this, for the year. Jason Verrett is out for the year. But I think that uh, the Eagles came up against a really poor Falcon side, and I think this step up in quality might be a little too much for them. Um, and I think that the 49ers will be able to cover their three and a half point spread on this. And the final team is a team that I'm actually quite high on. I spoke about them in the show earlier on in the week, and that's the Carolina Panthers. Now they are uh the bookies are giving you giving us three and a half points. So the uh, the Panthers can lose by three points, and I can still win money. I'm taking that against the Saints this week, uh, especially with the Panthers at home as well. I know Jameis Winston threw for five touchdowns and a great win against the uh, the Packers last week. I think there was a lot of emotion involved in that win, um, especially with the obviously the devastating sort of hurricane and uh, Ida that went on uh, a couple of weeks ago that uh, the city of New Orleans is still trying to recover from. Um, but I think maybe the, the Saints might still win this, but I don't think they'll win it by any more than a field goal. You go for that treble at the moment of the time recording, you get about six to one for that. So if you put a tenner on, you get 60 quid back, of course, with your tenner back as well on top of that. Uh, Jake, what do you think? Oh, I'm kind of, I'm not in agreement here with you fully, to be honest. Um I don't like the cards. Well, I do. I think 
they're not going to be the team that let you down this bet. I don't think. Um, uh, what did you get them at? Minus three and a half, was it? Yes, minus three and a half. I think the minus three and a half is is a good line. I think. I mean, that's just a field goal and a little bit more. Um, they will probably cover that, and I think it'll probably be okay. But I am a little bit worried about them. Even though I don't like the Vikings at all, they look like they were shoddy this this weekend. So uh, I I feel like they, they they're probably going to be okay, but I am a little bit worried about it. Um, your second pick was the 49ers um, against, against the, Eagles. the Eagles. I actually have that in my bet here minus three and a half. I think that's just a silly line. The the 49ers are just a way better team. I think they've got quality everything bar uh, missing a few of them players, but. They, they've got some good quality depth behind them. So I just think that's a silly line. Um, maybe the bookies know something that I don't, and they often do. But I just think three and a half points to the to Eagles, it's just not, it doesn't make any a lot of sense to me. Um, and then your last one, this is the team I think I'm most worried about, plus three and a half to the Panthers. I just don't, I, I don't think they're that strong against the, the Saints team that looked pretty decent this time. Um, I think you got them at plus three and a half. I, I'd say, I mean, you're probably looking at a five, seven point win, I think, from the Saints. Um, I think you're going to see um, Sean Payton trust James, famous Jameis a little bit more, give him a few more extra kind of plays and stuff like that. So I just feel like they're going to gonna come out a little bit stronger than the, than the old Panthers here. Okay. Interesting, interesting. One though thing that I the reason why I sort of went with the Panthers as well for this is you know their star cornerback um Marshall Lattimore is going to be missing now from this game as well. So they were already quite thin at the cornerback position. I know they traded for Bradley Roby, who will come in in this game after a one game suspension. But um, you know, I think I think that with the with the wide receivers that the Panthers have as well, and of course you know that weapon in Christian McCaffrey too. Um, but I think the the Saints will have Demarco Davis uh, looking at him all day long, making sure to keep an eye on him. But look, I we'll see. It, it, that is the long shot of that bit. You know, you you really want to have things going your way for that one to come off. But but Jake, let me hear your one. Yeah. Um. So I'll leave. I have one pick in it that I uh, it's gonna be. Um, everybody disagreeing with me here for obvious reasons, so I'm going to leave that part to laugh. Uh, last, I have uh, the Bills minus three and a half against the Dolphins. Um, it is an AFC East game, so these tend to go a bit mad, but um, I just don't see any world where the, the, the Bills can't put up a lot of points against the Dolphins team, which is, uh, I mean, they're not great. Let's just be honest with ourselves here. I just think minus three and a half is 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 too low for the Dolphins. I just don't think they can they can cover like even with the three and a half points. I don't think they're getting there. And uh, my next pick then again, as I said, was the 49ers over the Eagles again, minus three and a half. A, a silly line, strong team, um, great play calling on the 49ers side. And I just don't think the Eagles are up to scratch even with their new new toys and Devontae Smith, who looks really, really good. Um, and then another one I have the Rams. Uh, Colts game, uh, Rams minus four. I'm kind of in between this or the over-under, which is 47.5 at the minute. Um, I, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and forth to this, but I still think minus four for the Rams is quite good against a Colts team. That didn't look exceedingly good in my eyes. Um, and then the one that I'm going to get a lot of stick over, Fionn actually suggested this one to me, was uh, the Giants money line over the Washington football team all day, every day. Um, yeah. just, I mean, the past four games, four times we've faced off against each other, it has gone the giant side. I'm really hoping that uh, it, it continues on. Uh, so just a straight week. win, no handicap for that one. Oh, because it's it's plus three and a half, I think, for the Giants. Um, but I just think we'll just well, go money think, line on it. Yeah. Okay. If they're gonna win, there's no put need to put the handicap on it. That's true. I just, That's true. Be losing money then. <laughs> That's it, and if that's it, if you think it's going to be a straight win, you're you're totally right to go for it. Yeah, the I I agree with a lot of it. Obviously, we both agree with the Forty ers the Bills. I do agree with you too. They were going to be in my bet as well. Um, I think that yeah, I think the Bills struggled last week against a really against a surprisingly good Steelers defense. They don't want to get caught out again. I know the the Dolphins defense is quite good as well. Hopefully they can get some sort of running game going against the Dolphins because I think that's one thing missing from their game a lot. So we'll see 
what happens there. The Rams minus four. I agree with you, and then I don't agree with you. Like, you know, I the Colts were bad last week, and so like bad out of how can I say, like like beyond my expectation, bad. Um, like obviously being being the Seahawks fan that that I am, and you know you get those nerves a half an hour before the game because you don't know what's going to happen, and you know that first drive the Rams had, they took up nine minutes of clock, you know, just uh, eating away at the 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 defense of the Seahawks. I they eventually held in the end, which um, uh, which the uh, Colts only got a field goal for, but I think strength of the Seahawks game was their runs the run stuffing ability on Sunday. I don't know if the Rams have the same. Obviously Aaron Donald is a stud, but you know the rest of that defensive line obviously is nowhere near his level and the linebackers aren't really household names either. So the likes of Jonathan Taylor, Marlon Mack and stuff, they can maybe get a run on them. I like the over more than I like the the handicap. Yeah, I'm agree. I'm not sure. Uh, minus four sounds nice to me, but also the over sounds pretty good. So um, I just feel like, I mean, we know, I, well, we think with the Rams can score points and we think the Colts can score some points too. So um, yeah. the over sounds nice, but minus four sounds pretty sweet to me. So I'm going to have yeah. to have a mullet over, but it'll certainly be between two of the, one of them. So, so if anybody wanted to go for that, what sort of odds would they be looking at? Ooh, I didn't actually check the odds on that. Give me two seconds and I'll check right now. <laughs> That's no problem. So, That's no problem. Thursday but, night football, we have the Giants money but line. What, while you're going through that, I know we don't have the odds for touchdown scores at the moment, but I'm going to pick out a player that I think will be good to score a touchdown this weekend. And it's going to be in the Raiders and Steelers game. Um, I know in a previous show I talked about how I don't think that he's going to have a great season, but he's still going to catch touchdowns. And that's Chance Claypool. I, I fancy Chance Claypool to get um, at least one touchdown in that game against the Raiders this Sunday. Um I, like I said, I don't have the odds on that just yet, but I think an anytime touchdown score to add maybe to my previous bet, if you want to go with it, could help bump it up that little bit more. Uh, yeah, I like Chase Claypool. I think he's quite good as well, so I, I would certainly wouldn't fault you for for putting him on for a touchdown. I, I like uh, either Devonta Smith or Jalen Rieger of the Eagles. Both of them, anytime touchdown, I think they're great. They don't really have much going on in the Eagles uh, offensively, so they're certainly only two really uh, that you want to be targeting. Maybe Dallas Goddard if you really wanted to look at a look at an Eagles player, but I think certainly Devonta Smith seems like a guy that to score almost every game. Um, I just checked the the odds there for that bet. It's accumulated are worth 15.8 to 1 put a tenner okay. on it you get 168 quid back so that's uh, that's probably what I'm going to go for I did put the minus 4 on the line so I'm going to have to see whether I go the over under or the or the total All right okay well then that's that's it that's um that's our show you know it's it's a nice quick show some bets that we like coming into it and we'll have Fionn back on the next one to add maybe a third option for you and maybe if you want to join a few of them together um, let us know in the comments below what you think um, if that was a good uh, bet to have uh, which one did you like most which one do you hate um, and also uh, if you can't comment underneath get us on our socials at, at undercenterpod on Twitter and Instagram uh, you'll find us uh, there so until then uh, until the next week I should say, uh, make sure you stay safe and we'll see you soon.